I'm here to be giving you the uh, player ratings today. It's all well, it's all meet United. Normally, is on away days. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right, we're gonna obviously we won the game, and we're gonna just run you through the players' ratings as well. So. Uh, Let's get on with it. We want to know what your ratings are in the comments box down there below. So Rob Elliott, I think Rob Elliott, uh, I have to give him a nine. I've got to go a nine. And you ask him, well, why are you giving him a nine? He didn't really do much. He kept that, that penalty save was massive. If that, if he doesn't save that, I know it's fortunate because he just has to guess left or right. But he gets a strong hand on it and pushes it out as well. So absolutely fantastic. Just that alone. He was also, what I noticed as well from him, he was coming out for crosses a lot more. Yes, he didn't win them all, but he was doing a lot more because I think that's something you need to work on. So nine out of, out, nine out of ten. DeAndre Yedlin, I thought Yedlin was absolutely superb. West Ham couldn't really cope on their left flank. Uh, him, and, him and Richie had a great partnership, so I'm going to have to go with DeAndre Yedlin, another nine. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Give us that attacking, um, allowing Richie to come inbound, that attacking em emphasis on the right-hand side. Brilliant. Now, looking at the left-back, uh, not the left-back, sorry, the centre-back, which is Jamal Lascelles. I thought it was a steady captain's performance. I'm going to give Jamal Lascelles an eight. Yes, he battled on. He probably had an injury. We'll find out more when we get that. But comfortable eight. Kieran Clark along, alongside him. I thought um, Henri Savé didn't do him many favours for the first goal, but I thought he'd done okay. I'm going to give, I don't think he was brilliant, brilliant, but I'm going to go, I'm going to be generous and give him another eight as well. Now, left back Javier Manquillo, it's probably one of his better games for Newcastle. I know we've won the game and it's easy to say that, but West Ham going down that right flank, to be honest with you, is, didn't hardly offer anything. Did you? Can you? Did you remember seeing it? I know Anatovic was trying to move around and so on, but I thought Mankiw done really well for him. So I'm going to give Mankiw an, another eight. So all the back lines scoring high there. I know it sounds stupid that we conceded two, but I, I'm going to have to because we won. You know, <laughs> Matt Ritchie, I thought Ritchie done really work, really worked hard. Unlucky to hit the post. Again, his link up play with DeAndre Yedlin was absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to give uh, Matt Ritchie a great eight out of ten. Alongside him, Mo Diarmi, and uh, no, and obviously the selection when we seen it was like, oh, when we seen it. But Mo Diarmi, to be fair, him had a great game. Believe it or not, he scored against his old side. Um, I'm going to give Mo Diarmi an eight, probably his best performance of the season. Alongside him, Henri Savé, the most surprised inclusion. Obviously, we've watched him in the other 23s a lot this season. A very steady Eddie. Give the ball away, ridiculously, but he, he got his goal as well. Um, was okay in spells, but. It's his first game back. I'm going to give Henri uh, Savé a seven. Going across the left midfield, Chris and Atu, who I thought in the first half we didn't really see enough of him, but he beat Zabaleta for that second goal where he nutmegged him and also played that nice link-up play of Hossel for the third goal and got himself on the score sheet. Chris and Atu gets an eight out of me. Probably could have scored higher if he had a better first half. And that, and then the two up top, I thought Dwight Gill, despite him not scoring, worked really hard. And I have to say, he stretched the defence, which he does do, which we said in the, the tactics board, he does a lot of it. So Dwight Gill uh, scores. You know, he's probably... He hit the bar and probably put one over, but coming away from that, I think he worked hard. I think he worked harder than Hosselu, so I'm going to give Dwight Gale an eight. Now, coming across to Hosselu, uh, you know he's winning a lot of the flick-ons against Arsenal. He won 90 yard percent of them uh, today. Not as many, but he still won a few, but he was the file for Gale's movement, so I'm going to give Hosselu a seven. Now, Rafa Benitez's tactics, I thought Rafa Benitez was like, okay, so this is how we're going to set up. We've got some injury problems in the centre midfield. Where it's a it's a depleted depleted squad, and we attacked them, and we used their left flank heavily, and they couldn't really cope. And then the second half, because we switched it a little bit, going up switching wings. I thought Benitez got his tactics spot on. And yes, we conceded two goals, but we scored three, which is a nice change for Newcastle. I'm going to score Rafa Benitez an impressive nine. Now, if you look at the substitutes who come on, Perez didn't really get much action. Murphy didn't really get much action as well. Um, and you seen. A change also the third sub sorry and um, but I'm not going to score the substitutes but let us know uh, your ratings as well and boy does it feel good to win doesn't it see you bye.